15 orders ready to go. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke and this is John Luke Resells. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be rounding up some sales. So I have got 15 sales to pick and pack today. On top of the sales, I've also got a little bit of something that I want to do today. We are going to be changing the batteries on these cube wheel devices and listing those as well. So I don't know if anyone remembers these. Basically, you get them in a two pack like that and they'd have a stick man in each of the cubes and then you put them all together and then you can create a big world of stick men basically i think they retailed at about at the time about 18 pound for two and i have just bought some replacement batteries so these are cr 2032s so i'm going to be changing those over giving them a clean up seeing if they work and then get them all listed so that'll be exciting to do but first we will get into the sales so 15 sales in total i'll flip the camera around and we'll get picking so guys these sales span from wednesday morning to friday evening so we got wednesday thursday friday's worth the first sale is the manchester united shirt i did mention in the last video we got 24.99 for that one so really happy to see that go we don't need to see that again i think we had a few mentions of the shirt in the comments but uh, i do like a black shirt to be honest maybe not a united one next up is this city training uh, training track suit it is a kid size it's like 11 to 12 uh, the pants do have tags and the top does not, but it's pretty much brand new. We did get $24.99 for that also. Um, I think for the two, paid £3 in the charity shop, which was cool. And again, for the United shirt, I think we did pay about one fifty to £2 in the charity shop. So yeah, can't wait for those to open again. I've just realised some of the sales are trading cards. They're going to be in the house. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've grabbed the box. Now we have sold three trading cards, uh, the playing cards, two the same buyer so we've got an espion we got 40 pounds for espion we also sold a cyndaquil and a typhlosion there's that one cyndaquil and next was a typhlosion there is typhlosion so 40 pound for the espion 15 pound for the cyndaquil and 21 pounds for the typhlosion kind of did him a deal on a couple of them as he did already buy the espion we're really happy with that really really happy with that i think total we're looking at about 75 76 pound over the three cards there which is awesome okie dokie next sale is this dancing mate uh dance mat for the ps1 and ps2 I think you've seen this in my last video as well. I said I'd get about 10 to 15, but I ended up selling it for 25, which is really good. It's new and sealed, never been used before. Um, just the box has been a little bit open. But yeah, 24.99 I got on that one. And I think it sold the same day blisting, maybe the morning after. But really, really happy with that. I do actually have another one, uh, which has been used, I think. I'll have to have a look in there. But um, yeah, well happy that we've got £25 for that. Next up, we sold a Voltex binder um this we got 17.99 for i did buy these for myself on amazon not too long ago but never ended up getting any use out of them so i'm gonna move them on and we did sell the other one as well a little bit later in the week we sold two of those 17.99 each not exactly sure how much i paid for them i think i did pay a little bit less than that to be honest on amazon but um well happy with that so yeah i did actually pay 14.99 a piece on amazon for those could have probably returned them but it was in november so i didn't want to hassle them sold them myself next up we did sell some graphic novels which are down here so i'll have to grab them it is some spider-man hollow graphic ones so these are in here these are the hologram spider-man graphic novels sold a bundle of four as you can see in a moment for 30 pounds oh, one underneath there so yeah we got one two three four so these are the 30th anniversary spider-man comics and we got 30 pounds for the bundle of four really happy with that you can see like the lenticular cover there pretty cool for its day i'm not sure what the date is on them 1992 so yeah pretty smart indeed next up we've not had one of these sales for quite a long while we did sell some lego keychains so these are in a plastic tub just underneath the starfighter in here as you can see flip that around these are great for storing your lego figures and stuff like that um and it was this listing here so it's the lego movie so we've got that lady we have got the copper and we've got emmett i do know emmett's name not sure on those two names but um yeah i think we've got nine pounds for the three of those they came in a lego bundle 
a long, long, long time ago now. And I'm just making sure these are all listed. I think they are. Pretty sure they are. But that's all we have left now. But yeah, you'll be able to get these from like the pound shop, any different shops like that. Really handy for storing your Lego bits and bobs. And uh, I think I have a little, another one there, like a little one there, where you can store like DS games and stuff like that. Well, that didn't help. We've sold the, the we sold the Wii. We just sold the Wii, so we're gonna have to move this again. Um, move those Lego sets out of the way. Um, we'll grab this Wii. We got fifty nine ninety nine for that. So it's just a standard Wii, one controller, one nunchuck, and then a few games. I think Star Wars being the best game. The rest, a little bit of bundle fodder. This one was actually supposed to go to Ireland, and they did didn't really get back to me when they bought it. So I ended up cancelling it. Sold it the next day. Happy days. I think I mentioned that in the last video. I have got one more Wii down there to list. Uh, just missing a power cable. So I need to get hold of a power cable. That I can get that one up there. Next up we sold a pair of Converse. In this little box here. Whoop. There we go. These Converse here. Brand new. Quite a funky colourway. Kid size. I think three or a four. And we got 19 99 for those. Picked them up on East Lanka Car Boot. Quite a while ago now with another pair. And these have been hanging around for a long while. Just because they're not the greatest of trainers. But um, yeah £20 nonetheless. I think I got two pairs for a tenner. I think the, the first pair sold for quite a bit more than these, about 30 quid, bit 35, something like that. So yeah, really happy with that one. And then following that, we did sell this Operation Good Guys DVD set. We can get that. There we go. And we got $8.99 for that one. It's series one to three, I do believe. Never seen it before. Quite an old one. And um, yeah, someone paid £11 at HMV back in the day. Last but not least, we did sell this JJB Wigan shirt, listed it last night and it sold last night as well. Twenty three ninety nine we did get for that. You've got the JJB is the uh, the maker of the shirt. JJB is the sponsor. Got JJB up there. It's literally JJB all over. It's a two thousand and six seven shirt in pretty good condition, size large. We've got twenty three ninety nine for that. Again, paid about three pounds in the charity shop. One of the new ones that actually opened recently, but of course it is closed now. All right, so just for a roundup, we sold the Converse twenty pound. Got the Wigan shirt for twenty three ninety nine. We have got the DVD for eight ninety nine. We've got the Wii for fifty nine ninety nine. We have got the graphic novels for twenty nine ninety nine. We have got the United shirt for twenty four ninety nine. We have got the three Pokemon cards for a total of seventy six, I do believe. Uh, and then we've got the binders at seventeen ninety nine each. Uh, the City Track suit for twenty four ninety nine, and then the Lego minifigure. Keychains for £8.99. Pulled a few bits of media out to list a little bit later, as well as the Cube World. We're going to change the batteries, like I said. So what I'm going to do now, just get all these packed up, get them sent off, and then I'll catch up with you a little later. Decided to put the cap on as well, because my hair is doing my absolute head in today. Graphic novels, cardboard sandwich, Ricky Lee's favourite breakfast. United shirt going to London. No surprises there, lads. Whee! But we've got everything packed up. Just need to get it loaded in the car now. All right, so I've dropped all the parcels off. Everything is done in that regard. It's getting quite late in the day, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get into doing these Cube World stuff. I'm going to change all the batteries, get some photos, and show you what they're all about. And I'll put the listings at the end of the video to show you what I've actually split them in. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do in terms of the listings yet, but should be fun. We'll get into that now. And uh, yeah, if you are enjoying the video, hit the like button, and we'll get into the next bit. All right, so we'll open the first one up. Lefty loose C, is that how you say it? Left, <laughs> lefty loose it. Right, so it's the CR twenty thirty two batteries. So we'll just um, take that out. Then we've got some over here. I paid one fifty for five, and we bought twenty of them. So it should cover most of them. I think the big ones they have a couple of triple A's in there. So I've got some of those as well. So what we'll do, we'll try and boot up the first cube world let's have a look see if we can get him working so that's popped into there pretty easily they are just cheap batteries there's nothing special about them but i'll be able to mention in the listing that i've changed all the batteries all brand new batteries inside okay dokie so we'll just i just heard it come on by the way we had a little beep biddy beep oh so Oh, he just fell. So you should be able to see there. 
There is the dude. Turn on its side. Falls over. Upside down. He fell over again. So this guy looks like a mechanic. Something like that by the looks of the, um, the tool on the front there. See what he's doing. On a workbench. He stood up. What's he doing? Fixing the, fixing the lights? I don't know. What is he doing? He's fell off. He's not very good, is he? He's tried to drill through the ceiling. Uh, it's unbelievable um, content, I must say. He, well, he's put some stairs up. He's banging the wall. Right, we need to get him some friends anyway. So we'll leave him over there. And uh, we'll get some more guys fixed. So he's called Handy. Next one, Slugger. Series 2. Series 4. They all connect and they all interact with each other. So let's get this one undone. Hopefully there's no corrosion. I don't think these batteries corrode too much, to be honest. I think it's uh, mainly the uh, the usual batteries. These are like the coin batteries. I think they're usually fine in terms of time when they've not been used. Interesting to see that Series 2, they had a Sony battery in. Series 4, they had an EVE battery in. So they changed the battery supply. And that went out of date on December 2007. Or it was in date in 2007. I'm not sure how it works with batteries. So they're quite old. There's the Sony one there. And there's that one. Pop him on there. They should interact. So we've got Slugger and Handy. Let's wait for the interaction. See what happens. Oh, they're waving. Oh, they've opened the door. And then he's jumped into his cube. See, when I was a kid, this this was like magical. This was magical. <laughs> really simple design. Pretty cool. It's like Tamagotchis, but they can interact kind of thing. So, we know that they're working, which is good. What we're going to do, I'm going to go and fix all of those off camera. We don't want to see me change every battery. And then we'll come back, we'll show you them all working together. And then, yeah, we'll see what we can do with the listings. If you did want to search them up, they're called Cube World. So we've had our first one that's not working. Just won't turn on. It's got a rattle to it, so I'm not sure if there's a piece you know, that's loose inside. So I'm not too sure about that one. I'll leave that to one side. Uh, if anyone's got any suggestions and you think you can fix it, let me know. But um, yeah, one that doesn't work. Shame really, because I think the um, clear ones look quite cool. But you can see the components on the inside. Pretty smart. But yeah, I'll take that battery actually. That is one of my batteries. Four in one in one little cube then. It's magnificent stuff. They have got all of these working. We've got one broken one down in the corner there. But unfortunately, all three of the big cubes will not turn on either. One of the um the battery packs uh looks great. That one. That won't turn on. And then we've got a couple that have got a little bit of corrosion in which could be cleaned up but i'm assuming because this one doesn't work with a perfect battery pack that these aren't going to be too successful either so what we're going to do we're going to split these up into auctions uh not auctions we'll split them up into different listings and see what we can do with them as you can see they all interact you can get three or four in one at one time we've got a few that are asleep a few that have left the cube gone to different rooms We've got a skateboarder up there, weightlifter, skipper, basketball, all that kind of stuff. We've got one with a dog somewhere, but well, there he is. So yeah, it's, it's good fun. And um, yeah, I'm sure some kid will have a lot of fun with these bits and bobs. But yeah, I'll uh, see what I can do with the listings. I'm going to clean these up and, and list them. Uh, after this clip now, I'll insert all of the listings. I will have just inserted the listings there hopefully sold already maybe not but um yeah should be able to get a good price for the lot in total maybe split them up into two or three different listings maybe end up just one big listing we'll have to see as you can hear it in the background annoying me now beep, beep. it's almost as bad as the furbies one question for you guys is what would you like to sell on your ebay store this year that you've not sold in the past so something that might be a little bit out of your comfort zone leave a comment down below and we can see what we can do with them so if you did enjoy the video today, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. 
click that notification bell so you don't miss another video i've got videos over there to my left that should be right this time i appreciate each and every one of you for joining me today and i'll see you very very soon peace out guys remember one-to-one -one wednesdays on a wednesday sunday waffle on a sunday peace